there's just a little bit more news that we weren't actually able to get to in our show. Uh, Jared, is it, it but, mm, something about a missing universe? What is happening? Yeah, apparently parts of the universe were missing, and I didn't know this. What? Um, but there was a lot of headlines this week that said that missing parts of the universe discovered, and my heart kind of skipped a beat because I thought maybe this was direct detection of dark matter, you know, something that makes up the most of the universe uh, that we have out there. Uh, but it turns out, if you actually went beyond the headline and read the actual articles, uh, that we didn't discover the missing half of the universe universe per se. Hmm. It's just that we found the missing parts of the baryonic matter of the universe, which is the matter that you and I uh, and your computer and everything around you are made out of. Uh, so uh, doing this, this survey, uh, <laughs> baryonic matter only makes up 4.6% of the known universe. So that means that we have actually found not the missing half of the universe, um, but the missing 2.3% of the universe. Huh. Now, computer modeling that we did of the universe suggested that half of that was missing, and we couldn't account for the discrepancy between what's observed in our universe and what's modeled in computers using the laws of physics that our universe are governed by. Now, does that mean that our physics is incorrect, or were we just looking in all the wrong places at the wrong wavelengths? Well, it turns out we were looking in the wrong places at the wrong wavelengths. So using a combination of data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which this is the telescope um, that they use, which is one of the largest sky surveys anyone has ever done to actually find objects in the universe, and the European Space Agency Planck spacecraft, uh, which looked at the cosmic microwave background radiation. Uh, they looked for the cosmic microwave background radiation filtering through these very diffuse filaments of energetic gas. So big streams of energetic gas that are linking a large number of galaxies. And they were able to actually detect these filaments of gas. Now this was done by two teams, one at the Institute of Space Astrophysics in Orsay, France. The other was done at the University of Edinburgh. Now they compared the missing matter, these filaments of gas, um, when they put them into the models, they fit those models perfectly. So there it is, just some ingenious combination of data to show phenomena, and voila, you've got clear evidence for structures that we didn't know existed and account for one of the largest problems in our current cosmological models of the universe. Hmm. Now, a lot of people would suggest that our models of the universe are just plain wrong and that things like proposed physics such as modified Newtonian gravity are what we should actually be using to investigate the universe. But the problem is we can do an entire tomorrow episode dedicated to all of the problems with these fringe hypotheses when we observe the expected outcomes of these hypotheses in the universe itself. In other words, they don't work, but this one does. So there you go. We found it, we got it back, and we're very happy to, to have 2.3% well, of the universe that we were missing finally here. All right, well, <laughs> thank you, Jared. Huh, who knew? Uh, in the previous uh, show, 10.38, we had a simulated Mars conversation with Icarus One. And if that and other spacey things interest you, feel free to join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.